first round. So with a look at the teams, Linfield and FC Copenhagen, his match commentator, Jackie Fullerton. Oh, that's a good run from Haylock. Can he get the better of Luca? He can. Haylock! Oh, yes! 38 minutes, and Haylock, he got a tremendous goal here against Tbilisi, and that one, well, it will certainly do. There's the challenge from Luca, held him off, and he buried it. Pedersen, no chance. His fifth goal of the season, he's the top marksman. What a time to get a goal. 27 year olds. And this is a very good spell for Linfield. So Beatty is there with the left foot. Lee Dockery is there with the right foot. As Haylock and company await in the middle. Beatty to curl it in left footed, I think so. But the back post, it's 2 -0. It's John McConnell. And what a sensational couple of minutes for Linfield. Good finish from the big defender. His second goal of the season. Off the head of Beatty. Oh, the mistake here. Johnson could be in. Still going. Oh yes, 3-0! And just a minute ago I was saying he was showing good form for Linfield and he's delivered in the best possible way inside the defender and the keeper, oh well beaten! This is Nielsen who missed the first match and that's an excellent ball for Klaus and Maniger makes a run towards the near post and it's Lee Dockery back! It was a lovely move by Copenhagen. Lee Doherty did his best to try and clear the ball. He couldn't control it. And Muller, with room and time, beat Lamont easily. Mohar for Manica and space in the penalty area once more. Johansson! And that's 2 0. Martin Johansson, the 21 year old has put Linfield in a very difficult position now and Copenhagen need only one more goal to square it up and there was far too much room in that penalty area there was actually two players free and Johansson was one of them and still he does not place the whistle to the lips this must be the last chance though as Lahr puts it forward for Manica in goes Johansson, Doherty it's a free kick on the edge of the box for Copenhagen. Well, what a finish this is. One of the most exciting, heart-stopping matches, finishes to matches I think I've seen. So much can happen yet. Referee pulling the wall back, he wants them back another five yards or so he says and it's Lars Hauer taking one of those incredibly long run ups for possibly the pile driver oh he scored he scored deep in injury time Copenhagen have done it well, we were saying throughout the match that this man was so dangerous from long range with the free kick. And just when Linfield least wanted that to happen, he has done it for his club. And he struck it beautifully. Where's the ball? He had no chance whatsoever. And Lindsay McKeown's on the pitch, and Trevor Anderson's on the pitch. It's going to be extra time because I think the referee has blown the final whistle just after this hit the roof of the net.
and that is exactly what has happened. We are into injury time. It's so tense here. It's very exciting. Join us after the break for extra time. Uh, here he is. Well, uh, Mickelson's made a good run in the penalty area. Good work by Mickelson. And you have to say that was a lucky rebound. Lamont couldn't clear. Tim Mickelson followed up. And a totally different complexion on the match. So it was a nice through ball. And Mickelson showed great skill to beat Spears. Lamont was somewhat unfortunate. Six yard line. Now, didn't drop for Peebles. And the referee blows his whistle, which signals a Copenhagen victory. Muller, Johansson, and then Hoyer. Two minutes from injury into injury time. The Linfield players are absolutely gutted. A sad night for them, but credit for taking FC Copenhagen all the way. They were a much better looking side tonight than a fortnight ago. Celebrations turned to anguish here. Reaction soon after we've seen once more that killer goal.